In this video, we're going to learn how to fix the missing PSD remove mat option when importing Photoshop files. We're going to learn why sprites have a white glow and the various ways we can solve it. Let's begin! Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey and this channel is all about helping you learn how to make your own games with in-depth tutorials made by a professional indie game developer. So if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing. So this is a pretty quick video about a really frustrating change in Unity and I hope this helps someone out. Recently Unity started adding this message to imported PSD files. PSDs are Photoshop files. It says that this option has been deprecated and will probably be removed. Now for me, I normally use PSDs while I'm making my game since I can just open Photoshop, modify a texture, save it and it's automatically updated. It's very simple and very quick and works fine since Unity automatically creates the alpha channel. However, it seems on one of the 2018 versions they did remove it with regards to newly added files. So this file in here was present before the change and as you can see still has the remove map option. However, this file in here was added after that version and as you can see that option is nowhere to be seen. This is pretty terrible because without it, as you can see, the sprite looks all messed up. So let's drag it in here and there you go. You see that white glow? That's exactly what happens. Whereas on the Apple texture in here, it's perfect without a white glow. Essentially, this is an issue with the alpha channel that that option automatically creates. So you have three ways to fix this issue. Now, number one, you can manually add the option back. So for that, we can open the textures folder here it is, my project files textures folder. As you can see, I have the Apple PSD, Medkit PSD, and each file has its own meta file. You can open the meta file with any text editor you have. This is all the information that Unity uses with regards to this file. And if you scroll down into the bottom, here you can see these two options, PSD remove mat and show remove mat option. We can manually save this into one, save the file, close it, and now if we go back into Unity, as you can see, the white glow disappeared and the option is now in there. So this is great and it works, but since they say in here that it is deprecated, I have no idea how long this fix will work. So let's look at option number two. You can still keep using PSDs, but you must create an alpha channel. So here is that texture opened in Photoshop. So I can add a new layer. Let's paint it in black. Now select this layer, so it selects all the pictures that have color. Now go up here into select and save selection and name this the alpha channel. Here in the channels, as you can see, it now has an alpha channel which contains our texture. Now we save this and if we go back into Unity, you can see that it's not using the Unity option to remove the mat and it no longer has the glow. So again, the issue with the glow is always because of the alpha channel. So if your texture is very simple, just like this, and you only have one layer, then this is quite simple. However, every time you modify your texture, and let's say I wanted to add a simple pixel in here on the side, if I want this to show up, I can save it, go back in here, and as you can see, it doesn't show because the alpha channel needs to be updated. So once again, you gotta come in here, save again a new alpha channel, delete the old one, and now I go, and now it does update the texture. So as you can see, it's very laborious to work without that helpful Unity feature. And the more layers you have, the more complicated this process gets. You need to duplicate, merge the layers, and save the alpha channel. Now, I'm not a Photoshop expert, so I could be missing something here. So if you know an easier way to update an alpha channel in a file with lots of layers, please let me know. So that's your second option to manually create the alpha channel. Now, for option number three, you can simply use PNGs. In here, if I remove the alpha channel and also remove the black background and I save it as a PNG, here is my medkit.png, here is the medkit.psd and the PNG in here, and if I drag the PNG, as you can see, there's no white glow and it works perfectly fine. Whereas for the PSD saved without a background, as you can see, there's the white glow back again. Now, the big issue with this method is that every time you want to modify something, you would need to go into Photoshop, in here, modify your texture, and then save it again as a PNG, and then it would update in here. That also means that all of your textures will be duplicated with one PNG and one PSD. So these are three options you have for dealing with Unity's weird decision to remove this feature. 
I really hope they don't completely remove it since there doesn't seem to be any benefit whatsoever. I usually keep my textures always as PSDs while I'm developing my game, so this change is pretty bad and quite destructive to my workflow. If they completely remove this feature, it won't force me to manually create alpha channels or render everything in PNGs. Either option will add unnecessary complexity to my workflow, so I really hope they don't completely remove it in 2019. Anyways, I hope this helps out someone. If you're missing the option or your sprites have white glow, now you know why that is and what you can do about it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.